You know, I get asked quite often about effects. What type of effects should I use? Uh, people ask me when I'm on tour, you know, Gary's, are foot pedals better than rack effects? Are preamps better than real amps? Are tubes better than solid state? I get asked all these questions, and, you know, I'm someone, I've been playing guitar for over 30 years. I come from, you know, the old school of, you know, using stacks and tube amps. I used to have foot pedals, you know, a mile long. I used to have a huge rack system in the 80s. So I've pretty much been through all of it. And what I've discovered is there's applications for everything. It depends on what you're doing and the situation that you're in. Um, I also make a lot of music for TV and film. I sometimes do recording sessions. I jam with people. And sometimes I do things out of convenience. Uh, something like the Utopia system has a great convenience to it because everything's built in. You can get all your effects right in it. You can get a wah-wah. You can get all those things. And if you're needing something on the go, you're going to have everything in it. If you want to build a custom pedal board, that's a whole different thing. You've got to you know, make sure that your batteries are all fresh, your cables are not shorting out. There's a lot of other factors that come with having a separate pedal board. Now, I still use foot pedals in combination with the Utopia. I still combine it with my Rocktron Hush and my distortion units and my, and my, you know, my different wah pedals that Rocktron makes. So it's great to have that in addition to it. But my concept is this. If you're an old school player and you, and you like to plug straight into an amp and not use any effects, then that's absolutely fine. But if you want to take it to the, to the next level, sometimes it's good to have the variety. Like example is if I call up a, a simple sound that's just going to be a straight clean sound. So here's my Utopia system giving me a straight clean funk sound. There's no any, anything to uh, mess up the sound. It's straight and dry and in your face. So an old school player can get what he wants. But if you're in a session and the producer or your friend in the band says, hey, can you create something more interesting? Maybe this sound, you know, with a chorus on it, some phaser and reverb is going to give you the effect you want. And this is something that I, I've thought about over the years is effects can actually inspire you to create music that you might not have created, to create sounds that you might not have created. I've, I've actually written songs based around an effect that I was using. I, even one day, I, I almost called up Rocktron and said, I need to give you some publishing on this next single because your, your sound made me come up with the, with the effect that I was looking for. Uh, if you call up a, an amp sound, you know, maybe a dry sound like this, there's no effects other than an amp sound. So you're in a band and you like it raw and you like it dry and you want that... then you're going to have that out of the utopia. But if you all of a sudden decide, you know what, I'd like to kick on some effects and maybe have something during my solo that's going to give it some wetness and some fullness, or maybe you want something more delay sounding.